Hello everyone, this is Yogesh. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this Java series, right? I think you have understood the first part and today is the second episode of this series and today we'll be discussing about primitive and non-primitive data types. Like uh, I have given you a gist of this and we are going to talk about little bit of strings, right? What is string and all, what are its properties and everything. So that thing we will be covering today. So before that, if you're new to our channel, then please subscribe this channel. So I think that will be very helpful for me as well as you, right? So yeah, let's start this uh, episode so today we'll be discussing on primitive and non-primitive types so as i told you like uh, the byte care short and long flow double up primitives string is a non-primitive data type so let's see the difference between this like why these two things are different why this is primitive why this is non-primitive right so in the primitive uh, data types the data types will be having a fixed size like they will be having a uh, fixed size and the non-primitive types will be having a variable size so what does this mean so uh, for example you, you can take off an example of an int so if i am defining an int for example money so you can uh, this is my data type this is my variable name right and uh, you can write a value here you can write a value here so this value can range from 1 to 10 to the power 9 right so this value can range from 1 to 10 to the power 9 that is size is fixed in this case but in case of very uh, this one non-primitive type size is variable so i told about string right so string is of variable size like if i talk about string and uh, i am writing for example address so you can directly write what is the length of your address for example my address is something like a b c d gandhi nagar road Havra, salkia something like that your address can be new delhi something like that so it will vary from person to person's address right so this size is not fixed it is variable and it can be as large as possible until and unless your system's uh, storage is finished right if your st system storage is completed then it will give you a uh, stack overflow but uh, till then till then it will uh, store uh, information it will store as long as possible but uh, if you talk about an integer it will have a fixed size that is uh, more than 10 to the 9 you cannot take but in this case you can take until your uh, system's memory right so this was a major difference between primitive and non-primitive data types so if we talk about strings if we talk about strings so let's see how we can uh, specify a data in the string so we can write like this for example i'm writing string s1 is equals to hello world okay i'm writing like this similarly if i talk about one more i'm writing again similar thing i'm writing right but uh, what a different you can see is that i'm assigning it s1 hello world again i'm assigning the hello world to s2 clear no issues one more way of writing this is that assigning a data is by using string s3 is equals to new string by using a new keyword we'll be explaining what is this so you can write hello world right so i'm writing one more because i want to show you something that's why i'm writing one more time new string writing hello world right so writing written the four times like s1 equals to this s2 equals so same thing i have written in s1 s2 s3 s4 so before going in a deeper way let me first explain there are two types of uh, assigning this like uh, you can declare a string like this string s1 equals to hello world or you can uh, like this and one more is like this string s3 is equals to new string hello world using a new keyword right so what is this new and i told new keyword so before knowing what is new let's understand what is keyword right so we can say that a keyword is a predefined words in java which cannot be used as a variable name or a class name or an object name in java right so like you can use a if you have used for loop so for is a keyword if you use in a while loop then while is a keyword if you have used in break statement continue statement so this everything are keyword similarly this new is also a keyword a keyword right so to de uh, to define a new string we use a new keyword right so the the difference between this is that if you define a string using a new keyword this will be created in a heap memory right heap memory this both of things and this will be created in scl string constant pool scp sorry scp string constant pool string constant pool 
okay now you want to know what is this scp string constant pool what is heap so basically you have a memory right in your computer so for example you have this is a heap memory for example this is your heap memory so this scp that is string constant pool is also inside this heap only but a other sec different section is there scp so this is a string constant pool a different section is there right so this is an overall diagram like how heap and scp is there so this is a basic difference like uh, if you are trying to declare like this if you're trying to declare like this so how they are stored in different different locations right but i wanted to show you one important thing like uh, why we are taking in this two different types and what is the difference between these two things right so let me draw one diagram and then i'm coming back to you so yeah, something i have drawn in this diagram like you can see that i have drawn uh, some heap memory and some scp string constant pool so you can see the s1 and s2 are created in scp and uh, s3 and s4 are created in heap so you can see that if i've tried to uh, create s3 and s4 so they are occupying different spaces in the memory like s3 is uh, created with the, a value hello world differently and s4 is created differently right but in scp what you can see you can see that if the values are same in s1 and s2 like we can see that s1 is hello world and s2 is also a hello world right both are storing the same information so they are pointing to a same value like uh, we know that both values are same so they're pointing to the same value so one you can think is that why it's not like this as uh, s3 and s4 are pointing to different different values similarly should be there in scp but it's pointing to same because the values were same so one of the property you can see from this diagram or about this string is that memory op optimization memory optimization right that is it can do s1 equal to hello world s2 equals to another hello world but they are pointing to the same information right so basically string property you can think of like it's a memory optimization right they can do different different but they're pointing to the same information right but if i try like one more property is there it's an immutable string is immutable so uh, if i try to do like this for example i tried s1 is equals to s1 plus for example i'm writing 15 right i'm doing like this and uh, s3 is equals to s3 plus 15 i'm writing like this fine so here s3 is we have add, tried to add it 15 a string 15 to this s3 okay so now this s3 will be pointing a new string which is of hello world 15 like this and we've written s1 equals to s1 plus 15 so s1 will be pointing to a new string hello world 15 like this and this will be disconnected let's take an another color this will be disconnected and this will be disconnected okay so s1 is pointing to one new information and this s3 is also pointing to a new information so you can see that this was not updated a new object was created so if i'm talking about object i will be explaining you what is object in class everything in the later videos but you can see that this is not updated a new object is created so you can see that in this case also this was not updated a new object was created so you can see the second uh, this was our first property second property is that it is immutable okay Im table right you cannot change it right if you try to change a new object will be created everything will be created new okay so this was the two most important feature of string so i think this is clear with you all right so you would be thinking like i am doing like this plus and these are added so basically it's a concatenation so for example we have a string like this hello we have a world string if we try to do plus in between this then it will become like this so if you want to see this so let's take so for example i have taken uh, first name is equals to i am writing yogesh let's take a new string last name is equals to yogendra right and if we try to take one more string name right and we are right doing first name plus last name right so basically i'm concatenating both of them and if i try to print the name 
and let's run this code so you can see that our name will be printed like this yogesh and yogendra so if i try to give a space here and if i try to print then it will be printed in a more better way so yeah you can see that yogesh space yogendra is printed so basically plus is used for concatenating so i will be explaining this in the functions part like uh, if uh, what are the string functions are there so basically i uh, explained you these things that's why i have explained this concatenation but when i will explain this thing right okay so i think this is clear with you all so one more thing let's talk about garbage collector so what is garbage collector this is a very small thing like i am not uh, i will be explaining a basic part not going in a too deep way so so basically what garbage collector do it is an automatic memory management which clean up the information which is not required like uh, here you can see that um earlier s3 was pointing this one right earlier s3 was pointing this one but currently is pointing to this one right so this is of not this is not required right so automatically jvm will clean this okay so this is the garbage collector so that the definition is known as garbage collector this information will be automatically cleaned from the memory in this case as well in this case as well but uh, uh, here you can see that this hello world was pointed by this s2 that is s2 is storing this so nothing will be cleaned here but in this case which is there in the heap this information will be clean from the memory because it is of no use s3 is now pointing to this other information that is hello world 15 right so that is known as garbage collector right automatic memory management yeah that's it so and if you talk about scp like uh, if some informations are here and uh, like uh, if we talk about uh, string is the which is pointing to hello right string right now i have updated like earlier s1 was hello if we update it s1 is equals to world we can do like this right so now this s1 will point to world right and this will be this information will be removed so here also but in this case whenever jvm shut down right in that case this information will be removed in case of heap this will be collected automatically but in this case when in S scp if we talk about scp right if we try to create like string s1 is equals to hello like that so s1 is first was pointing to hello now it's pointing to world because we have updated the information of s1 and s1 is not pointing to hello it means that hello is of no use so this will be garbage collected but at time of jvm shutdown that will collect this okay that at that time it will be removed from the memory right so uh, yeah that's it for the today's video i think you have understood jvm non-primitive type string some informations properties of string memory uh, optimization and immutability right so we will discuss about G, uh, string functions in some another video right so that's it i think you have understood the, these topics let's meet in some another video but before that if you have understood the things which i've explained you please 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 like this video right and subscribe this channel if you are new in this channel right so that's it let's meet in some another video Bye bye